Irish peatlands are home to a wide variety of plants and animals, supporting unusual and rare species with exceptional adaptions to life in a bog. Rushes, reeds, heathers and sedges all grow happily in these unique habitats, as well as carnivorous plants such as sundew, bladderwort and butterwort. Look out for lichens, some like miniature bushes, a symbiotic union between a fungus and an alga which tells us the air is free from pollution. But the stars of the show, the plants which truly thrive in these sodden environments, are mosses. And in the open, flat, soggy terrain of the bog, it is the Suson or the sphagnum moss that flourishes. Sphagnum comes in many sizes and colours. They form hummocks or grow in pools or sprawl out in deep lawns like coral reefs on our wetland. And because of its absorptive and antiseptic capacity, sphagnum was used for dressing wounds during the First World War. As well as this unique and thriving plant life, our peatlands are home to lots of different animals, from wary hares to elusive otters, frogs and newts. On a warm summer's day, you might even spot a lizard lounging on a sunny tussock. Walking through the bog, you will hear a host of birdsong. Bogs are an important habitat for our winged winter visitors, as well as permanent home to some of our most iconic species, including red grouse, hen harriers, snipe, golden plovers, and meadow pipits. Many of our less than 150 breeding pairs of curlew are found in our peatlands. Dragonflies and butterflies, spiders and beetles and other insects are specially adapted to our wet, boggy landscapes. Peatlands have played a huge part in shaping our culture and preserved many ancient monuments and important artefacts in their peaty grip. Invertebrates are an invaluable source of information for archaeologists, as fossilised beetles give crucial clues to the micro-environment of the peatland they inhabited thousands of years ago. Peatlands once covered up to 20% of the Irish landscape. However, over the centuries we used our peatlands mostly as a resource, so that now less than 1% of our remaining raised bogs, our healthy living habitat. Squandering our bogs has come at a price, as we have lost huge areas of natural habitat. Although Ireland still supports more than 50% of the remaining area of raised bogs in Europe, we still have a long way to go to restore these bogs back to healthy ecosystems. Together, by conserving and restoring our peatlands, we can keep the sound of the curlew calling, retain the vibrant colours of the blooming plants, and breathe the fresh air drifting over these special landscapes. You too can play your part in protecting our peatlands.